Hey again everybody, welcome to the uh, Metal Mill 52 workshop. Little update on the pillow tool and motor options. I really enjoyed all the discussion from everybody. Honestly, I can't thank you all enough and uh, it's hard to convey to me how exciting it is to get input and opinions and ideas from everybody that participates. I've checked out a lot of your channels and there's some really excellent craftsmen, people that I follow for a while that have participated and contributed their thoughts and ideas. Uh, Rustinox, really great to uh, have you chime in and, and give your opinion on things. And um, everybody else, Philip Vandelay, I didn't even know your channel was there. I checked you out and um, <clears throat> have subscribed. Great stuff on there. So I really appreciate everybody um, participating and providing input. So here is the pillar tool. As I said last time, you know, the kind of declare victory on the drill head. It's basically there like I want it. The one thing I don't have rigged up yet is the motor. And I went through a couple of the motor options. I wanted to kind of answer some questions real quickly. I'll try to be quick anyway. Um, I shot another video um, yesterday, yesterday evening, and I went to upload it, but it was 13 minutes. <laughs> it was very long and boring so i'm not going to subject you to that but trying to get right to the point here is the motor for the fordham tool and again it was given to me i really appreciate it it's great that uh, and i'm planning on using it someday especially as i get into the smaller things but <clears throat> this one here it's very loud and uh, let's see let me turn it on for you Hold your ears. If you're wearing earphones, be careful. Well, let's see. Maybe I should turn on the power bar. Okay, so here we go. Again, prepare your ears, please. So you can see what I mean. It's very powerful. I'm sure it would have all the power I need, probably way more than I need to be the delicate things I plan on doing with the pillar tool. So for now, this will just be the, I'll put the handpiece back on. Somebody has suggested that perhaps the noise was coming from the handpiece, it's not. Um, and and if, I, if I did use this, the rotation, I would have to mount it something like this because of the rotation. This is um, set up for counterclockwise only or anti-clockwise as the British folks say so anyway pass on that here's the exciting news lately this little sewing machine motor I didn't even I, I wasn't even sure it worked you know just picked it up for next to nothing at a yard sale well yesterday I tested it I insulated the leads oh the grommets popped out on me I have to push that back in but I insulated the leads and put some power to it, and sure enough, it worked. So I took the time, I soldered on some proper wires and insulated them with some shrink tube that I had left over from an auto repair project. And then I added a ground wire, put it together, made a proper little plug, and I tried it with the router speed control here. <clears throat> so let me show you a little demonstration and check this thing out. So here it is on full power. It's a new noise. It didn't make that first screechy noise yesterday. So it's old. Perhaps the bearings are needing to be replaced. But to me, I don't know if it will come across in the video, but the noise, considering high RPM, it's a lot less. I wouldn't call it pleasant, but it's a lot less noise than the Fordham tool. Now, let me put it on the variable speed here. You can hear the RPM going down a little quieter, a little, a lot more pleasant. And that, see, I think what I'm thinking is an RPM in this range could well be more than enough that I need to drill some tiny holes with the pillar tool. So I'm very excited about this thing working. Because obviously it means I didn't waste my money. 
at the at the yard sale and this thing is so tiny that I can fabricate a mount for it back here and all I need to do I, I realize this is less than perfect and it may not be the permanent solution probably won't be I'll get into that in a second but considering that I've it runs I've got it wired up properly I'm not worried about it shorting out um, it seems like all I got to do is fab up some mounting brackets and a little pulley for this thing and then I can at least test the drill head with the tiny little motor so that's my plan right now I've got a piece of aluminum picked out over here not quite sure which size I'll use but I can make a little pulley uh, for for this shaft with no problem so I think that's what I'm gonna do is work on this week I even have some other chunks of aluminum if I wanted to make a, a larger pulley I could use one of these so I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do I'll have to sketch that out but I wanted to provide the video show you what I had with the motor and like I said I'm really excited about this again probably not a permanent solution for this thing but it's so tiny that I uh, and because it was so cheap I can't resist the uh, the the chance of just putting it on at least as a mock-up so that's my next step and I wanted to show one more thing over here the Sureline motor probably in the long run something like the Sureline is going to be my long-term solution I put the motor and the motor and power supply back onto the Sureline lathe that I have and it awaits its job but these things somebody pointed out that these little 90 volt dc motors are prevalent on youtube youtube on ebay and there are other power supplies non-branded power supplies available as well i am very familiar with treadmill motors if you've seen my videos that i've done on the lathe master 8x14 uh, on the the Gingri Shaper, and I don't know if I did a video on it, but powering my old Shopsmith, it's a permanent drill press. I have a Leeson treadmill motor, and I use a Cycle Troll 150 DC power supply for those. Those things, the, the problem is they're bigger and heavier. There's tons of power in them, but uh, you know, it'd be way too big and heavy duty for something like the the pillar tool. I'm trying to keep stick with the light, simple rather elegant and easy to take apart and easy to store solutions for the pillar tool. So the plan right now, sewing machine motor, pulley, and get a belt, maybe a big round rubber belt like they use on sewing machines, we'll see. But I'll post more about that later. And as I said, probably the permanent solution would be something a little bit more, a little bit bigger, a little more robust. A little bit more like the Sureline, but I'm going to try this for an experiment for now. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Shot a gratuitous locomotive shop that shot there. I have cleaned up my work table a little bit to get ready for this. <laughs> and um, anyway, I'm very, very much appreciative of the new subscribers and the, everybody that took time to comment and offer their advice and suggestions. Very much appreciated, and I really enjoy this very much. I hope to get to a thousand subscribers and then I can have, um, they say we can have chats and I can, you know, send out a poll or something like that. And um, anyway, appreciate y'all. I will keep you posted.